Let's take a look at some interesting little stickers that are theoretically designed for ladies to put in their fingernails. They may have other uses, actually. But they're designed for ladies to put in their fingernails and use coloured lacquer over them. And what happens is that when they put their fingernails near the back of a NFC coil, a near-field communication coil, like in the back of this phone, it makes them flash. They power themselves from the inductive field. And it's quite interesting because by moving them about, you can actually find the sweet spot of where the coil is in your phone. So it's quite useful for that. The circuitry is very simple. Let's take a look at these stickers. Watch your eyes, the light is coming back. So here's what they look like in normal light. And maybe the camera's not doing much favours here, but they're not bad. They're visually even under the studio lighting as such, there's still visible little points of lights flashing on and off. Note that this dot is the centre of the coil. If I move it into the middle, nothing, ha well, nothing happens full stop because it's just shut down. Oh no, it started again. It's taking a little break and then it does it again. Um, no, it's, it's just intermittently doing things, but uh, it seems to be more sensitive around the perimeter here. I think it must shut down to a sort of lower number of pulses later on. Interesting. I've never really visualised the NFC field on my phone before. Oh, there it goes again. Interesting stuff, right? Tell you what, I'm going to bring in a scaled up image so we can see these in greater detail. And here is this scaled up image, which will make things much clearer. Let me go over this and show you what there is. There is an outer antenna, and this is super thin. Keep in mind that this is this little sticker here. I'll put it in the middle of the LED so you can see it. I'll even turn it around to the right direction and you can actually see the scale of this picture versus that. It's worth mentioning, I tried these with Qi chargers. I tried them with uh, the uh, standard um, key fob entry systems and I tried it with the inductive coils for the wireless LEDs. None of them operated it. The only thing they operate on is the uh, NFC coil. So we have this super fine coil. I measured its resistance at 22 ohms. You can do that because there's these two pads here. It's so thin that uh, I think they've put these pads here so they can actually test it in the factory to make sure the coil is intact. It's not got a little speck of cock, cock, cocker missing. Copper missing. How many turns are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 turns. And they effectively feed a voltage multiplier based on these two diodes and these two capacitors. There are two plated uh, through holes to track the other side. This one is going over to there. So the LED is basically bridged across this area here. And this one is effectively going all the way up to the outside of the coil over there. What that means is that the coil, uh, well, I'll show you the schematic. That's the best thing. Here's the schematic. I shall slide this tiny little sticker out the way. The schematic has the pickup coil with its quite high resistance, 22 ohms, and it's got two Schottky diodes. When this end of the coil goes positive, it charges this capacitor up positive, and when it goes negative, it charges this capacitor up negative. The LED is across those, so any uh, Energy imparted from the coil into these capacitors it goes through the LED and makes it blink. That is fundamentally it. There's not much to it. It's a very, very simple circuit. The stickers themselves. I'm trying to think what uh, other applications would be. It's certainly, it's quite useful, the idea of having something that can detect an NFC coil somewhere. Or, just for novelty, I suppose you could stick it on your NFC card, uh, just to see it flash, although it may, in its own way, it may actually shunt some of the energy. But they're novel. They're interesting little things. It's odd, you know, stuff like this is made for the beauty industry, for the fingernails, which is a huge industry. Uh, but it does potentially have other applications, and it's also quite inspiring the circuitry uh, for maybe using it in other applications. Quite cute and interesting little things.